Let's do this one. Hello, everybody. Shrouded Hand here. Hi. When we hear the words torture chamber, we usually imagine some sort of medieval dungeon or maybe a dark cellar used by the secret police of some foreign dictatorship. But what if these places exist much closer to home? Maybe operating right out of a scenic European village? Dude, that's... I, dude, it always scares me, like, thinking about the fact that, like... Like, neighbors can literally just have, like, people that they're torturing in their basement and I don't even know. Because let's be real, no one, no one ever goes to their neighbor's house. No one goes inside. Like, someone could be torturing someone right next door and you don't even know it. <clears throat> ah! To start this story, we have to go back to 2016 and the rise of a service called EncroChat. Marketed as a device for celebrities who feared their phones might get hacked, EncroChat provided people with specially modified phones where the microphone, camera, and GPS oh, were disabled. That's smart. The handsets couldn't make calls, but they came preloaded with the EncroChat software. This was an encrypted messaging service that was very hard to intercept. As you can probably guess, the phone wasn't just popular with celebrities. It quickly became a favourite for organised criminals. Pretty sense. soon, EncroChat had tens of thousands of users, the majority of them being members of various crime gangs. In 2017, EncroChat came to the attention of French authorities when, after a number of organised criminals were arrested, the EncroChat devices were found in their possession. These phones proved extremely difficult to hack. They had a safety feature that, if the unlock screen passcode was entered incorrectly too many times, all the data on the phone would get erased. Holy shit. On top of that, all messages that were sent- Imagine if you forgot your passcode. That would suck. ...with the device were encrypted between users, and no data was stored on any external servers. Despite the combined efforts of the French, Dutch, and British police, it would take another three years before they were able to infiltrate the EncroChat messaging service. My old phone from years ago did that? In April of 2020, police you managed to put a technical device in place on the EncroChat's French servers. So that's what hacking looks like. Yeah, you guys have ever seen hacking? That's what it looks like. The exact nature of this technical device still seems to be a secret, but it enabled them to infect EncroChat phones with a malware that recorded messages before they were sent over the encrypted network. At that time, EncroChat had a reputation for being unhackable, and so criminal activities were being openly discussed over its messaging service. I hope not COVID. Okay, easy. Send me snapshot in one, two days to hit account. Sorry, bad flu. We passed it. Wait, what is this? Without fear of being discovered, police now had access to these messages, and it led to the takedown of many high-profile operations. Oh, holy shit. Ah! In June of 2020, oh my God. police raided multiple homes, warehouses, and drug labs across the Netherlands, France, Sweden, and the UK. The raids turned up mountains of illegal drugs, firearms, and ammunition. Millions of pounds of cash were seized, and hundreds of people were arrested, including, in the UK, two corrupt police officers. LOL. One of the most sinister things they found on the EncroChat messages was references among certain Dutch gang members to a place they referred to as the Treatment Room. One chat log contained the following message about the Treatment Room. Once I have him in the chair, we'll know more, but the dog is missing. Further messages contained references to nippers for fingers and toes, a oh. set for nails, and Ew. a tub for waterboarding. Ew. These messages led police to a 40-year-old man named Robin Van O. A financial investigation linked Robin Van O to a warehouse in the Dutch village of... Wouze Plantage. Wouze Plantage. <laughs> I like how he added that. I like how he added that. <laughs> when police raided this warehouse, <laughs> they made their most disturbing discovery yet. Oh god, are we... Chat, okay. Are we, I don't know. Are we going to see stuff? Okay, I think it's just going to show tools. I don't think it's going to show, like, actual blood. Quality! Quality! 
Inside was a row of seven shipping containers. The containers were insulated, soundproofed, and lined oh. with a reflective foil. Ew. There was a chemical toilet in the middle of each one. Handcuffs and chains were attached to the floor and ceiling. They were positioned in such a way that someone could be chained up in a standing position oh for my long God. periods of time. In one of these rooms, they found a number of police uniforms and bulletproof vests. The gang were planning to pose as police officers to kidnap their victims. In the seventh shipping container, they found the treatment room. In the middle of this soundproof chamber was a dentist chair, modified with wrist and ankle restraints. Nearby, they found a pile of household tools. Pruning shears, loppers, branch saws, scalpels, Ew. pliers, a blowtorch, drill bits, hammers and screwdrivers. It was clear that these devices were intended to be used as torture implements. This Ew. room was also fitted with a video camera capable of streaming footage to a remote viewer. This has led some to speculate that the site was intended to be used as a red room. A red room, for those who don't know, is a fabled corner of the dark web in which people pay thousands of dollars to watch a live stream of someone being tortured and killed. Dude, whether or not these red rooms really exist is a matter of debate, and it's considered to be largely an urban legend. Most I don't know, I feel like that would be a thing, I'm not gonna likely lie. this room was intended to be used for interrogating rival drug dealers and gang members to extract information from them, the camera being used simply for surveillance. Either way, the idea of being snuff yeah i i feel i feel like that would exist i'm not gonna lie like i can't even imagine the shit that's on the dark web bruh it's just a myth trust me yeah yeah tr trust this guy he he's he's in the gang he knows he knows what's up he's he's been a part of the of the big black market before he knows what's up strapped into this chair is a horrifying one Luckily for the intended victims, when police intercepted the EncroChat messages, they were able to take them into hiding before they could be kidnapped. I feel like he's a part of What I find scariest about this whole operation is how professional it all looks. Clearly they spent a lot of time and money building this place, and it was intended to- Dude, I think that the scariest part about all this shit is the fact that you know there is a whole group of people a part of this. Like, they have, like, construction workers. Like, they have people employed. Like, they have a lot of people employed doing this stuff. I feel like that's the scariest part. Yeah, and they probably have multiple locations. Hold multiple prisoners for a long time. I've read about gangland tortures before, but mostly they just take place in an empty, abandoned warehouse or in somebody's house. This seems to be on a whole other level. It's a completely undocumented detention facility and torture chamber operating out of a small village in the Netherlands. It makes me wonder how many more of these sites exist around the world. Yeah. Something tells me that this wasn't the only one to be built. So how many people have been abducted off the streets by people posing as police officers and are now languishing? Yeah, posing as cops too, like that's just not a surprise. There was a thing, like, a, a while ago of, like, people getting kidnapped. Like, people literally just getting yoinked by people just in cop vests. They were wearing normal clothes, but they were just in cop vests. And they just, like, stop and just grab someone and just throw them in the van and just drive away. Wishing in a cell like this, completely unknown to the authorities. It's a terrifying thought, and it could be happening in your town right now. You don't need a contractor to line a shipping crate with foil. It's not just foil. It's completely soundproof. That means you have to make an entirely new wall on the inside of it. Then you have to soundproof that wall. Then you have to layer another thing of... Soundproofing is no, hard, like, it's no easy task. You have to build full walls, soundproof those walls, add another layer of wall, soundproof that wall again, and then you put the foil on it. It's not, that ain't an easy task. So that's pretty much all the information I've been able to gather about this case. So I'll just end the video here. As I say, I know that a lot of... Supposed to be a funeral escort, but he keeps getting arrested for dressing up as a cop. Oh God. Now it's time to walk away. I hope you enjoyed your stay. Did you laugh or cry or maybe subscribe? I'll thank you either way. You know I will miss you. I hope you return. So
tell your friend or your mother to get me more views, please.